Hello friends, this is Brother Carlos here. I'd like to encourage you to listen to the prayer that is coming up shortly here, okay? Listen to that prayer at least once a day for seven days. This prayer is the most powerful financial curse breaking prayer available on YouTube, okay? So now, i like to encourage those of you who are serious about, you know, getting out of financial curses, okay? Having financial curses broken off of you. i like to encourage you to make a one-time financial bondage breaking donation of $10 or more. And then go ahead and listen to the following prayer for seven days once a day for seven days okay so and i believe that evil spirits that are hindering you from receiving financial blessings will be cast out of you okay as you press in and believe god for miracles okay i believe you're going to be able to receive extra money you're going to be able to even find a good job or even getting get promoted in your job or even start your own business okay the reason you have not done so yet it's because there are evil spirits financial demons assigned to bind you to to keep you in bondage and to keep you impoverished okay so now you can listen to this prayer once a day for seven days and I encourage you to make a one-time donation of $10 or more. And we believe, and I believe, that, uh, that financial demons will be cast out of you. And you will be able to receive financial blessings. Amen? All right. So now, go ahead and listen to this prayer, okay? Also, you can make a donation below this video, okay? You can make a donation below the video at my website, dailylifechurch.com. Or you can make it at the PayPal link below, okay? Amen? Do it and get ready for a financial breakthrough. Listen, in order to get rid of financial demons, you have to be a giver. The Bible says, give and it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. Shall men put onto your bosom, for with the measure that you measure, it will be measured back to you. Okay? So a $10 or more into this ministry, okay? And then listen to our prayer for seven days, at least once a day. Now, God bless you and listen to the prayer now. Bye now. Hello, folks. Let's get started right now with our financial curse break in ministration, okay? So first of all, let's pray for protection. Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we just come before your holy throne. And first of all, we ask that you forgive us of all sins we have committed against you and against those made in your image. Lord, right now, we also come before you and we ask that you protect us and keep your angels around us and around our loved ones, our family members, according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7 which says, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. Thank you, Lord, for protecting us. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No witchcraft formed against us shall prosper. And no retaliation formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. The Bible also says in the book of Matthew chapter 16 verse 19, Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. The Bible also says in the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 17, that those who believe will drive out demons. As it relates to us and our family members, we bind and cast out all evil spirits that were sent out our way with the purpose of hindering our financial provision and prosperity from flowing freely into our hands. Get out of us right now, unclean spirits, poverty spirits, demonic mindset, 
poverty mindset demons in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Get out of us right now, word cursing, generational poverty, strongholds, pride, greed, love, and lust for money, uncontrollable spending, debt, out of and away from us now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bind and cast out all evil spirits sent out to distract, blind and hinder everyone out there that are supposed to give us monetary gifts and financial blessings from fulfilling their God-given assignments. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we break all assignments of the devil that were keeping them from giving us monetary blessings. Get out of them right now, unclean spirits. Go to the abyss in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as it relates to us and our family members, we bind and cast out all unclean spirits sent out to block monetary ideas from getting to us. Come out of us now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, evil spirits. We bind and cast out all evil spirits sent out to block God-given opportunities that result in success and accomplishments assigned to us by our Father in heaven. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get out of us right now, unclean spirits. Get out, get out of the way. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bind and cast out all unclean spirits, demonic forces, stingy demons, and evil powers that have been fogging our minds, blinding our understanding concerning the truth of God's word in the matter of giving and sowing joyfully into the kingdom of God and into the lives of others. The Bible says in the book of Luke, Chapter 6, verse 38. Give, and it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men put unto your bosom. For with the measure that you measure, it will be measured back to you. We bind and cast out all unclean spirits, demonic forces, and evil powers that have been keeping us blinded from the reality of giving. Out of us now, unclean spirits, demonic forces, and evil powers, and go to dry places now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we now renounce and break all financial curses in our family bloodlines. We bind and cast out all evil spirits that steal from us, Come out of us right now, unclean spirits, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bind and cast out all unclean spirits that manipulate people to curse us. Come out of them right now, unclean spirits, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bind and cast out all demons that keep people and businesses from blessing us financially. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, come out of them right now, unclean spirits, and go straight to the abyss. We bind and cast out all demons that keep people from doing business with us. Come out of them right now, unclean spirits, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We also bind and cast out laziness demons and curses. Come out of us now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bind and cast out unemployment demons and curses. Come out of us right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, evil spirits. We bind and cast out procrastination demons and curses. Come out of us right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We renounce and break all demonic mindsets and poverty curses in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We renounce and break all financial curses and witchcraft spells in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We renounce and cast out fear of failure in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We renounce and cast out fear of success in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
We renounce and break defrauding mindset curse in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We renounce and break fraudulent mindset curse in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We renounce and break stealing and deceiving mindset curses in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We renounce and break all selfish and ungodly ambitions and greed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We now declare that our minds have been renewed through God's power and anointing bestowed upon us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you impart your anointing for discipline and organization upon our lives. Father in heaven, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you impart your anointing upon us for making, saving, and managing money wisely. Father in heaven, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you impart your anointing upon us for wise investments in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, we ask that you rebuke the devourer on our behalf in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We now declare that every person, every organization, every business and every institution that our Father in heaven has assigned to give us monetary funds are now free to do so in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We now declare that we are free to give monetary blessings to God's work as well as to people as we come across their path in, and in touch with them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are givers through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We give out of joy. So therefore, we are now ready to receive our rewards and to get a return for all the seeds we are now sowing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And we declare that we and our family members are blessed and protected by our Father in heaven. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay, folks, this prayer is for us and our loved ones, our family members. Make sure you continue to play this prayer regularly, if possible, even daily, you know, for a couple of weeks. Okay? And it, it is important that you also agree with the prayer. It's, it's okay for you to say amen and thank God, okay, you know, throughout the prayer. It will help, okay? So continue to listen to this prayer and, um, and get ready for the, the provision. Get ready for the blessings, okay, that God is going to pour into your lives, okay? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God bless you now and have a good day. Bye now.